It's fuzzy. I heard something. James! Mm -hmm. James, can you hear Alan. me? Alan! Alan, I can hear you! Hey guys, the Christmas season is almost upon us. I'm super excited to announce we're doing an awesome collaboration with some of the other great maker channels on YouTube for an ultimate Secret Santa gift exchange. We're going to be working with Colin Furs, Sufficiently Advanced, Kids Invent Stuff, As Stephanie Explains All, and Look Mum, No Computer. All right, so for our Secret Santa, our recipient we picked was Alan Pan from Sufficiently Advanced, my good friend. And the funny thing is, uh, last time I was in L.A. and we were hanging out, we joked about making something like this, basically having a way that we could communicate between our two workshops, my workshop right here and his makerspace. So what we thought of was making the nuclear telephone, the red telephone that the president had to talk to the Kremlin in Russia during the nuclear the Cold War. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make a red phone that Alan can use to call our workshop. Sure, we could just use a cell phone, but that's not fun. We're gonna make something really cool. But before we get started, I wanna thank our sponsor in this really fun game I've been playing called Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms is the world's first true real-time strategy game for mobile with unrivaled degrees of freedom. You can start a battle anytime and anywhere. And it's completely free. Choose from one of 11 historical civilizations to start conquering the world. With seamless world maps, the action never stops. With night and day weather, a refreshing cartoon art style, and exquisite city designs, Rise of Kingdoms is a treat to play. You can even join alliances with other players to take your civilization to the next level. Defeat wild barbarians to protect your civilization. This game has it all. <laughs> take that. Yeah. Sponsors like this help us make awesome projects, so download the game to help support our channel. Plus, if you download right now, you'll get an awesome bonus pack, including 200 gems, 2 silver keys, 100,000 food, and 100,000 wood. Just click on the link below the video. Alright, to start, we gotta take apart the telephone. Don't need that. Now this part is very important. We need to adjust the counterweight to exactly 90 degrees. Okay, so we've taken the phone apart, which means now we can start putting it back together, but in the hacksmith way. Follow me. <sighs> Grinder with the cutting blade. Where's the cordless Bosch? Perfect. All right, so we're almost done modifying the phone, which means we can start adding the electronics. Now, to power the whole thing, we need to get a few little accessories and adapters to make everything work together. And the cable we're using is just a basic power cable that has four different adapters on the end, USB-C, USB micro, and of course, lightning bolt. But no one likes lightning bolts, so we're gonna cut that one off. And then, using that, we can actually power a fan to keep the phone cool. So, what we're actually using is this USB-C to headphone adapter. This plugs into the phone, and then you can plug in your handset into the side, like so. Hey, Bogdan, can you solder this? Awesome, thanks. All right, so we got a fan to keep the phone cool, and we've got this little buck boost adapter, which will take five volts from the USB and output 12 volts, which is what the fan wants. So we still want to be able to actually hang up the phone, which means we're gonna add a little limit switch here Right in there, so then when you press this, it hits the limit switch. It's almost like it was designed for it. So we don't need the top one. All right, now it's time to actually start assembling everything into the base. We were trying to find a nice 90 degree USB-C adapter, and we couldn't find one that we could get in time. So unfortunately, we had to make our own. And, uh, can you guess who made this? That burns, but I was on the wrong spot, so I had to do it. God, Ricky Bird. Hey, there's a mess in here. Good thing no one's gonna see it. This project was sponsored by Hot Glue. Why didn't I plug this in before? It's beautiful, isn't it beautiful? Alan, are you proud of my handiwork? And it's done. Kind of. We have a few more things to do. And today on the Hacksmith ASMR, we're peeling acrylic. Oh yeah, doesn't that sound great? Ooh. 
Jack. I don't even know about <gasps> And now we attach the fan. Oh look, it's got it's got uh, nut holders. You know what I'm talking about, Riley? You seen these nut holders? Look, they hold the nuts. Oh my god. Look at that! It's so easy, one finger. If I could do it with one finger, you guys could do it with your whole hand. All right, so I think I've used enough hot glue to hold this together. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. Precision movements here. Let me stick this through there. Perfect. All right, so we got this hand set, but as you can see, it doesn't match very well. So we're actually gonna take the guts out of this and put them inside the original red phone that comes with it. What? The other screw fell in perfectly <laughs> upside down. Can you hear me now, Mr. Krabs? All right, so we're just using some cheap Android phones that we ordered from China, and we actually are going to have to flash a custom OS on this for the VoIP software, so let's go do that right now. All right, so now we just have to load a custom OS that we've already pre-prepared for the phone, and it's just as simple as loading the OS you want. And then you just have to plug in the phone, and wait a few seconds, and it's done. All right, so we got the phone now. Isn't it pretty? We made this custom little animation. It kind of looks like an arc reactor. But watch what happens when I pick up the phone. It enters call mode. So now we just have to uh, call Alan. One, two, oh, two. And you press the call button. There we go. Is this the Krusty Krab? Like so. And off to the mailbox. All right, just kidding, we gotta test this first. But I think I heard the doorbell. Whoa. What's in the box? I don't know, man. This is our secret Santa present from one of the other makers. It, it's fuzzy. It, it's fu oh God. Oh, no. oh God. Oh, no. oh, oh boy. Oh no, there's more. Oh, oh God. Oh, ah! what is this? <laughs> I think it might turn on guys. Oh my god, it's a three-headed Furby. Look, Ma, oh, it's, it's, of course it is. It's from Look, Mom, no computer. Look, Mom, no computer, sorry. There's some stick, oh, oh, there's instructions. Dear Hacksmith, sir, please enjoy your new pets. This stretched my sewing skills rather considerably, and it took a lot of stuffing. I'm so sad to see these beauties go, but I know they're going to a good home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this home tonight. There. <laughs> Do you think it's? Yeah, I feel, I feel metal. This is a wire structure. He wouldn't put this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this is the worst thing. <laughs> why, 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 why? Well, that's actually quite common. This is quite comfortable. That is, that is high fashion. This is high fashion. Hi, I'm fashion. All right, so since we had so much fun with this project and we wanted to make it super useful for Alan Pan, we decided to make one for everyone. One for Colin Furs, one for Kids Invent Stuff, one for Look Mom, No Computer, and of course, one for Stephanie Explains All. The real question is, will we be able to mail them in time for this video to come out?
What, what do you think it is? Puppy? <laughs> I hope so. It's too light. That's what, that's the most suspicious part of this, is it doesn't, it doesn't seem to be made out of metal, which is kind of what I was expecting. It could just be dead. <laughs> You've never sent somebody a dead puppy? Though? Oh, not for Christmas. Did that you want to put some safety glasses on? Uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> the Haxma says uh, that we need to open this box and that we'll understand what it is once it's open and it'll take a couple minutes to set up. I hope it's something Canadian. Okay, it's a box. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a hack phone. Only one of one of only six in existence. You will now be able to call any other hack phone owner, all six of them. Internals from 2019, externals from 1960s, containing more hot glue than hype from Firefest and audio simulation right out of Fallout. We hope you enjoy your holidays. Oh, it's 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 totally just a phone. It's a smartphone just like put into an old timey phone. <laughs> but this means that I'll now be able to make unlimited calls to Canada, I think, right? Step one, crumple up this page and throw it out. <laughs> step two, uncrumple this page when you get frustrated. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do this step by step. Connect the USB plug to a five volt, two amp charger. He didn't include the, the power supply? Oh my God. Okay, into USB, there we go. <laughs> Press and hold the power button to turn on the phone. Uh, which one's, which one's the, is it this one? No, that's not really, oh, power, it's la <laughs> It's labeled, he knew I could read. So I hold this, oh, there we go, there we go. It looks like we got a, plugged. Uh, Toronto, London, Hong Kong, Los Angeles, manual. Okay, oh my god, <laughs> there's so many instructions. Dial 101 to call the hacksmith. Okay, okay, phone app on the home screen. Let's call, let's go ahead and call James. This. Hello? Kind of a short cord. Hello, can you hear me? Hi James, I'm calling you on the hack phone. Hello? Hello? Is it, does your phone work? I just heard him, I just heard him. Are you sure your USB power works? No. <laughs> the battery's full though. Make sure the jack is pushed in all the way. Come on. Hello? I heard something. James, James, can you hear Helen. me? Helen, I can hear you. You can hear me, I can hear you. Wow, it works. Your phone works. My phone works. Dude, you you invented a phone that only six people in the world can use. That's I, a very- I know, isn't it genius? It's, only six people can a, use this phone. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, um, very exclusive kind of a product. Thank you so much, dude. Merry Christmas. You're welcome. Merry Christmas, Al. Yeah, you're gonna definitely regret this. I'm gonna start calling you really late at night because you're three hours ahead of me. Well, it's it's in my office, so call me anytime. Can I can I literally call like everyone who's in like I can call Colin Furs now? With uh, that hypothetically, I haven't I ha I haven't made contact with anyone else yet, so. Um, <laughs> this I'm, is first I'm contact. I'm hoping everyone's phone works, but uh, hypothetically, yes, you can call anyone. Stephanie should be getting here today, so she'll be. We, you, you can try calling her really easily. <laughs> Dude, how, how is this phone like? Is this phone have like unlimited minutes? How does this work? Like, it's a, it's a smartphone mounted into like a, a red Batman phone. You, you have how no idea how work? much work went into making this when really it is just a cell phone. Uh, the <laughs> effort to put it in a red phone box and all these stupid USB adapters that we had to order from China and all this other stuff. Took way too long. I hate to tell you this, but I have a phone in my pocket that can call you have a, way more than six people. A, a regular phone that can call anyone in the world. <laughs> wow. But this that's, is you that's know what? revolutionary. No, this is Alan. way cooler. This makes me feel special. Thanks, James. Do are we gonna are you gonna send me the footage of you answering this call and we can put it up on a split screen? 
Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Oh wait, okay, look. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna high five the air next to me with my left hand. Oh, okay, sorry. You're high five. So the you air high the right. five. Yeah. So so through the magic of right. editing, we let's high five through the split screen. Okay. okay Give ready? me a countdown. On on. On three. Uh, you. One. Two. two three. Three. Yeah. I yeah. Think, I think that works. We did. We didn't do it. It's not gonna line up at all. Three. Three. Yeah. It'll look good. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah! <laughs> All right, Merry Christmas, James. Merry Christmas, Christmas, Alan. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, see ya. Bye. All right, that made it worth it. That's, that's hilarious. All right, so we had a ton of fun with this Maker Secret Santa project. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoy seeing videos like this. And make sure you check out all the other Maker Secret Santa gifts. There's a playlist link below. Okay, this has gotta be one of the coolest and creepiest Secret Santa presents I've ever gotten, but we need to see how it was made, so.